From the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is 1011's Morning Pulse. Sponsored by Murray Roofing. Good morning, this is Craig Allison with your Morning Pulse for Tuesday, September 17th. Our first story is happening today. It's National Voter Registration Day, and so the Lancaster County Election Commission will be holding two events to get folks registered. The first is at Bennett Martin Library at 14th and N Streets from 11 to 2. The second is at Gear Library at 56th and Normal from 4 to 7. You can also register to vote online or by mail until October 18th, or at the election commissioner's office near 45th and Vine until October 25th. Your second story, it was a dangerous month on Nebraska roads this August as 19 people have died in 18 crashes. From January to August of this year, there have been 164 people killed in 148 crashes. The year before, there were 134 people killed in 122 fatal crashes. In fact, looking at data from 2020 to 2023, this year is on track to be one of the worst. There have been 17 more deaths in the last eight months than any other year in that time frame. Your third story, 21-year-old Logan Hunt's horse of South Dakota convicted of shooting and beating 62-year-old Todd Scherer of Lincoln to death at the Fauner Park last year is appealing his sentence. Horse was convicted of second-degree murder and a weapons charge after the brutal killing of Scherer inside of a horse stable last year. In July, he was sentenced to a minimum of 64 years in prison before he'd be eligible for parole. For more details, head to our website, 1011now.com. Your fourth story, it's quite the mess to clean up in Dawson County after a Union Pacific train derailed over the weekend near Gothenburg on the tracks near Highway 30. Trains are still able to get through and traffic on the highway is still running. We've reached out to UP to learn more about what caused the derailment and haven't heard anything back yet, but we'll continue to keep you updated as we learn more. And ending things with your fifth story on the lighter side, the lead center's page to stage will be kicking off this season with a homegrown production, House Divided. Some footage here from a Lincoln Library press board of the cast. This is set during the Civil War. It's a fictionalized version of a real week in 1863 following Abraham Lincoln as his half-sister stays at the White House. Tonight's performance at 7.30 will be its world premiere and there will be seven performances of this play through Sunday and it's the first of five page-to-stage shows running through March of next year. That is your Morning Pulse and we'll end things off with your seven-day. You've been listening to 1011's Morning Pulse. Watch, listen, stream on the 1011 Now app, on YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. Sponsored by Murray Roofing.